There's been a significant amount of activity in the IANA project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. Briefly going over some information for the participating OEMs that participated in IANA as far as discounted pricing goes. It's rather wordy. I'm not going to go over all this, and I have gone over it before, so I'm just going to pause here for a second for anyone who wants to review. Other infrastructure channels have been covering IANA stations that have opened, listed here. I'm going to link these videos down below in the description. A lot of activity and excitement concerning IANA station openings as of late. It's been really good to see two from White Bear Lake, which were cool to see. They were very excited. In the bad news category, Warner Robins has officially been confirmed by IANA to be no longer under construction. I did notify PlugShare to remove the PIP and uh, uh, something happened. They didn't really go into it, but this was taken off uh, LinkedIn, but I understand it was posted into other social media platforms as well. This is the uh, generalized map showing their indication of where they're going to build into. Obviously, Interstate 70 has been a major focus, and we've got 90 and I-5. All these are really starting to fill in, and this cluster right here is starting to become a beehive of activity. Interstate 10, not so much so, but we do have Jacksonville, we do have Tampa down here, and one down in uh, Pembroke Park, Florida. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. Castic. California, which is here north of Los Angeles, Inglewood, California, near the LAX airport, has been spotted. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but it's out here in the desert of California, north of Barstow. Palm Desert, California, also in the desert west of Los Angeles. A little bit more ritzy form of desert out there, I guess. Rialto, near San Bernardino, um, also spotted through permitting. Pembroke Park, Florida, as I mentioned, down here in the southern portion of, I think this is in uh, Broward County or Miami-Dade County. Tampa, Florida, which is this tight cluster in here, is starting to get really filled in. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland has been spotted through permitting as a canopy site. I'll show that in just a second. Sandy, Utah, up here. This is a converted gas station with a canopy in existence. And then open newly since the last update, White Bear Lake, Minnesota. As I mentioned, there was a lot of uh, excitement and activity around this station opening. Louisville, Texas, down over here. And uh, I'm sorry, Louisville is over here. And then just yesterday or today, Plano, Texas opened over here. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. street addresses all available. This is the complete list of open locations. I'm going to drop my video. We currently have 19 open. These are locations where construction has started. I'm going to go over these a little bit closer for ones that we have plug share pictures for after we do this part. These are the ones that are not started. I just went about an hour ago to the one in North Carolina in Concord in my hometown. There's still no activity there. Pause here for a second. Okay, so if every stall we know about, including the ones that have not been started, the ones that are under construction, and the ones that are open, and you do a sum total on all those stalls, we have 905. Now, the problem there is that they would have to complete every single station that we know about in order to get 905, and that's still short of their goal of 1,000 by the end of this year. So right now, it's looking kind of grim, unless they have a whole bunch of, bunch of sleeper sites that we are unaware of that are getting ready to open and um, I wouldn't put that past them because I, the ones that we don't know about um, or the ones that we do know about are known about through permitting. And they seem to be in certain clusters. Did an interview with Alejandro EV66 on the Out of Spec Bits channel. We didn't really go into the details about how those are found, but it does seem as though that when IANA finds a location where they're able to build into, they kind of do a pile on in a certain 
location. And so there could be tight clusters of those in other areas of the country that we're just completely unaware of. And all of a sudden, many stations will open. Uh, that's not out of the, like the Dallas Fort Worth area is one of those uh, tight cluster of locations. We know where most of those are just because there's been so much activity in Dallas Fort Worth. A lot of spotters have uh, seen those stations, but it's a big old country, and who knows where else Ayana is lurking. Very interesting. California is now in first place. These are stations that are open, spotted under construction, and also ones that are waiting for construction to start, just known through permitting. But even still, California is the state in the lead by two, by a very significant margin. Florida is second with 13, Texas with 10, and Washington state with five, North Carolina with five. Um, I think that's very significant that California has been so heavily targeted by Iona. And these are the different type of recharges. This is kind of a review. Pause here for just a second, then we'll get into the sites that are under construction with uh, current photos. First off, Ashland, Oregon. Uh, this is a Sinclair gas station. It looks like just a normal convenience store like what you would see, except back here we have the chargers going in. There's a picture coming from the opposite direction over here. But boy, what a beautiful area of the country with the nice mountainous uh, terrain in the background. Wouldn't mind charging here at all on Interstate 5 in Southern Oregon. This is Vista, California, north of San Diego. And the last picture we have is quite a long time ago with this fence up. And it's next to a car wash. It's always nice to put a charging station next to a car wash because there's so many amenities over there with the vacuums, the trash cans, and you actually go and get a nice car wash. I mean, if I was someone who didn't have charging at home and needed a place to charge with regularity, I would sign up with Ayana and, um, run my car through the car wash, get a membership to the car wash, and basically go there at least once a weekend. Fruta, Colorado. Now, I would like to say, if anyone from Ayana is listening, please, I beg you, can we please remove the man-eating monsters, uh, prehistoric monsters, from your station? No one wants to... I mean, I understand there might be a place to run away to. At one point, there was talk about a, a concrete shelter, but... T-Rex is going to rip apart a car and toss it like a dog toy. So can we please, for the convenience of the people, not let prehistoric man-eating monsters roam around your stations? It's just a common courtesy, in my opinion. But plenty of progress being made. We see a canopy going up, Alpitronic hyperchargers in the ground, asphalt laid, plaza work all done. I'm not sure we see switchgear over here. I don't see a transformer, though. Bellin, New Mexico, south of Albuquerque, off I-40 on I-25, canopy is up. Don't see a transformer, but I do see switchgear. Looks pretty nice. Definitely nice in New Mexico to have a canopy in place. Someone tell me I'm wrong. Janesville, Wisconsin. This one went through the City Planning Commission, has been approved, and is now officially under construction. We got a fence up with an eye on a banner on it. And a good old dumpster indicating that some general contractor has been hired. Because they got to pull those things in in order to get the construction started. Gilman, Illinois has been kind of stagnant. I haven't seen any update on this, but it is in kind of a rural area of Illinois. So it doesn't surprise me. I haven't seen many plug share updates on this. Very likely this uh, photo is dated. So very likely because Ayana put a icon for them on their website. This is further along and likely this is very close to completion if I had to guess, but we just don't have any updated pictures in PlugShare. It's south of Chicago, east of Peoria. Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, just to the west of Pittsburgh. And again, this is a dated photo. I would suspect that this station is complete and waiting for commissioning. Daytona Beach, Florida. This station looks complete. It is not yet listed on the IANA website. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. And last time we spoke to uh, Jim at Jim's EV Adventure, he was saying the holdup was the lack of the transformer. So maybe there's kind of some delay on the delivery of power or something. And IANA knows that. And so they haven't given any signal that it's coming. But it sure looks done. 
Clutchdown, Pennsylvania. This is northwest of Philadelphia. And if you look at the sheets, it looks like there wasn't any room on the sheets. So what IANA did was they just built in a whole new plaza area for their charging station behind the sheets and still have all the amenities from the sheets because you'll be able to walk right over. Um, so good progress being made over here. It looks like it's going to be a very nice station. Reading, Massachusetts. Looks like they're still doing the trenching work for the conduit. And uh, this one's going to take a little while, it looks like. Lastly, the Raleigh Rechargery we know to be under construction because Ocean Views YouTuber uh, did a video. There's just no pictures and plugs here that I could show, but I do know that this station is officially under construction. And that's all I have for the update. I'm going to roll the slide deck that has all the canopy locations open, spotted under construction, and the ones that are known through permitting documents. Thanks for watching.